Okay, so this is a, a fairly quick one. Uh, it's uh, I'll go to to this camera. So it's uh, it's a it's a new book, as you can see. I've uh, that's where I'm up to reading it. So I haven't read the book yet. Um, but it's the Addictive Sketcher by Adabanji, and you might know him. There's a picture of him somewhere. Wait a minute. Where's there a picture of him? Let's get my glasses on. There he is. There's a picture of him there. Uh, so you might recognise him from the one show. Um, so he does a few uh, sketching and painting things or if there's uh, an art uh, doodah on there. Um, he's, he's the guy who does that for the one show. Uh, but he does have his YouTube channel. And the thing is with his YouTube, uh, I might as well start looking through the book. So uh, he's quite uh, motivational uh, and quite... Um, so if you are if you are going to look at his YouTube, um, I think it is more for the older people that are uh, in my age my age group, my um, the older ones for this rather than the younger ones. Uh, but I'm going to show you the book anyway because there's some really nice pictures. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, just turn your sound down a little bit just be uh, before you go on because he is uh, he's quite. Um, Energetic, I think is the word, um, and he's a very, very big uh, speaker for for drawing every day and sketching from life. So that's basically what this book is about. Or the bit I've read up to now is definitely about is about that. So um, right, so I'm going to do this the same way I've done all the others. So I'll have a little look. Uh, I'll skip a few pages. I'll, I'll talk about a few pages. Um, there's a few little bits that I've read, like these little it's inspirational bits. I might I might read those out. Um, so that's me. That's me. Uh, that's where I bought it from. That's the the bookmark they sent me. Uh, but this is this is one of the things. My kit. This is one of the things that I will be doing next. Is we'll we'll draw in the things that we have. Uh, so like your pens, pencils, things like that, which is a little bit up my street anyway. Um, so. Um, <clears throat> obviously I've looked through the book, uh, I just haven't read it completely. So at the beginning he's just talking about it, then there's a few a few pieces where he's, he goes through one stage, stage by stage doing certain drawings. Um, but uh, he's very, very motivational. Um, I think that's that's his big... But the point with is that he's look how sketchy, that's the finished... It's a, it's about sketching. It's not about finished pictures. Uh, well, no, he's painting. He, he does he does do his paintings from his sketches. Um, one of the things that I uh, I think might put people off because of uh, of his work is because it's so unbelievably good. Uh, but you have to remember that he sketches all the time. I mean, literally all the time. He draws, 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 draws and he's been doing it for decades so when you see see his pictures and his paintings he's obviously going to be brilliant i mean just just look at the uh the detail in there and and he's he's trying to get an accurate representation as well so and that's not necessarily what we have to do um but the way you get good at something is by doing it uh, but this is an absolutely fantastic book, and like I say, the bit I've read up to now is uh, it's, it's got me all fired up to do some drawing um, straight away. And I'm only up to I'm only up to what page? No number on the page. That's mad. 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm only up to page 16, and I'm already eager to get my sketchbook out and go out and, and do some drawing a little bit. So that's that's the drawing on the inside of the pub. And it's quite a brand new book. I mean, the dates on this drawings are uh, only from last year. This one's a quite a good, uh, a good one to stop at for a little bit. So this is his original sketch, and if you look, he's done a painting of the same. It's uh, it says the bus stop at Earl's Court, and if you look, you can you can actually see. He's, he's done the sketch and these people are pretty much really accurate drawing for on the on the time he was 
really really I love the comparison between the sketch and the finished painting. Uh, one of the other things uh, that he does is he draws with lots of different things I mean these are these are all pencil drawings but you can see that the the very different styles all three of those so that's kind of uh, that's a painting drawing drawing as you can see he draw he paints outside uh, that's a marker pen obviously he's used watercolor there just awesome um, I don't want to um, I don't want to stay too much on the how to's in the book but I just I just wanted to look at the, the, the finished sketch obviously that's just that's a watercolor look how loose and free that is that's absolutely awesome picture so this is a really nice quote uh, it's from Aristotle. It says, We are what we. I'll start that again. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not in act, but in habit. So I'll go back to this camera. Um, and I think what that's saying is, is to do things over and over and over again, to get, get good at something. Kind of whipping backwards and forwards in the book so um, appreciate and embrace your work one of the things and I think I really suffer from this is I I always uh, play my my own work down quite a lot uh, one person actually said to me if I'm selling any work then never ever speak to the person who's buying it um, because I'm always not very complimentary about my own work um, but this this little quote here is lovely develop a healthy wholesome view of your work i think that's really good you you have to be critical of what you're doing uh, but at the same time don't don't be too negative about it so here's another really nice little quote avoid the pressure of precision as a sketch you want an impression aim to get the right feel of the setting not a photograph and I think that's really I'll go over to this camera I think that's really important when you're sketching you're not trying to get a photographic representation of what's there you are trying to get a representation of what's there but it doesn't have to be completely and totally accurate in every way shape and form so that's a really really good quote I think this is another one the world is your studio never let anything remain unsketched I like that. Uh, one of the things, uh, he's definitely just in a habit of sketching all the time. He just sketches, sketches, sketches. And he is very much an inspiration. Really, really is. So this is a really good, I think I'll leave it with this one. Um, it's fine to get, a, to get a double up or an overlaid shape in a sketch more important to get it right than neat so I'll go back to this one and I think that's really important because one of the things I have said quite repeatedly in my groups is if you want your artwork to look good you have to do it neatly and that is true is when you're if you're shading coloring in if you just do it really quick and just leave it all all nasty then that's what it looks like uh, but when you're sketching this is really important to you know what was it it's more important to get it right than neat so say i mean i'm looking at a little screen of myself there so say i'm just drawing my face if i drew my face and it was like that big it's like it's it's wrong so draw it again but you can leave those lines in because it's a sketch when you're sketching it doesn't have to be neat getting it right is what's more important and i think that's that's a really good uh really good little quote it's not not to be too precious about what you're drawing a sketchbook is supposed to be there for practice and looking 
and learning how to see and mark making it's not meant to be about showing off and showing people the best kind of work you've ever done in your life it's about it's about you learning and if you do have a sketchbook and you draw or even if you're just sketching on bits of paper you don't have to show people them uh, there's another quote in here which uh, is somewhere at the beginning uh, it's saying about never throw anything away never tear out pages out your sketchbook and throw it away because you don't know how you've improved and that's really really important as well so so sketching is 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 kind of a little bit different to to doing any any work like a graphic -y type of work sketching is you learning how to draw and learning how to draw means learning how to see and that's that's kind of like i say i haven't read the book yet but this is what i'm getting from the book up to now that it's it's all about mark making and what looking and seeing and drawing and becoming a habit of drawing so yeah uh, i'm loving this book at the moment and it's absolutely brilliant i hope you've you've enjoyed looking at some of the pictures and listening to my thoughts um so that's the addictive sketcher